Leanne, great to have you in the studio. You are welcome. We drink quite a lot of this stuff in my family. The first thing we've got to talk about is the name. Now, it's spelt B-E-L-V-I-O-R. I've been saying Belvoir, but you've been grimacing at me. <laughs> well, we don't really mind how you say it. So local, um, local people call it Beaver, so we're situated in the Vale of Beaver. Um, but uh, nationally, people refer to it as Belvoir, but we really don't mind how in, you say it. In what world does B-E-L-V-O-I-R spell Beaver? It's uh, French. It's a French <laughs> word. So we actually Some weird Leicestershire people. thing going yeah. on that uh, the rest of us don't, don't know about. But seriously, it is a premium brand. It's very, very um, fine cordial. You, it's, a lot of the products are elderflower, but you've got other ones. Ginger is a very popular one. How did this start? 40 years ago? Yeah, so um, literally started on a kitchen table in our founder's um, house, kitchen table, John and Mary Manners, um, started to make elderflower cordial for family and friends, and they were just making a few bottles, um, and then it got so popular that they decided to make it commercially, um, so they've been doing that since 1984. Um, so we've literally, at the farm, we've just started our elderflower harvest yesterday, so our annual elderflower harvest, so those beautiful elderflowers are now in full bloom, um, and we invite members of the local community to come and help pick those flowers. And then we bring those flowers back to the factory where we infuse them to make our beautiful elderflower cordial that we have been making to the exact same recipe since 1984. Uh, and now we make more than 20 million bottles a year and they go all over the world, so in, in more than 30 countries. So from that very small few bottles on the kitchen table, we've now turned into a global business selling the, um, our cordials and sparkling drinks drinks in, in every continent, which is just absolutely amazing. Now, does all your production go on in Leicestershire or have you got other production units across the country? And do you, do you only produce in the UK? So, yeah, we make everything in our Leicestershire factory. And obviously we don't just make elderflower. We make another range of drinks as well, so other cordials and sparkling drinks. So we make ginger beer, we make ginger cordial, and we bring in fresh root ginger and we the slice ginger's it. The ginger's quite... It kind of tickles the back of my throat. It's, it's quite a, spicy, isn't it? It's I mean, really, there's a lot of ginger in there. It is a really, really spicy ginger, but literally we infuse the fresh ginger so we get all that beautiful flavour and all those citrus aromas and flavours from the actual ginger root itself. We, mm. we rely on nature for our drinks and creating our recipes using real ingredients. Mm. We don't add anything artificial, no flavourings, no colourings, no preservatives and no artificial sweeteners. We really lie on... Really Rely on the quality of those beautiful ingredients and fruit juices to make those fantastic drinks. Now you are a, a premium brand. You you know that that is the the, the part of the market you're aiming for, uh, and there is a cost of living crisis. On the other hand, you know if you if you if you want a soft drink, the thing about buying a cordial is yes, it might cost you a fair bit of money for a bottle of cordial, but most of what you're drinking is water, which comes out of the tap. It isn't free, but it's largely free. So I guess. Drinking cordials rather than fizzy soft drinks is, you know, that, that aren't diluted could actually save you money in the long run. Is that the way you're marketing this? in the middle of this cost of living squeeze? Well, our drinks taste amazing and um, the quality of the ingredients and the amount of the ingredients that we put into those drinks is fantastic and they go a long way. Um, so you get a, a, a lot for your money from the bottles. Um, and um, we've also identified a trend of people avoiding alcohol or reducing their alcohol intake. And so mm -hmm. we've just launched a range of new drinks called botanical sodas. So um, we're a bit different to the drinks that we make currently. They're slightly lower in sugar but still really full of flavour and really really lovely ingredients. Tell us about the, the the harvesting I mean it sounds like a major operation there's lots of land in Leicestershire where you're I mean do you actually sow elderflower or does it just grow wild I, I know when I've made elderflower cordial with my family we've just picked it on the, on the hedgerows if you like but do you actually sow elderflower do you, do you plant it yourself How, um, I'm completely ignorant about the process. So we do have our own elderflower field. So elderflower loves to grow wild. It's a wild plant. Um, it, it really, really likes to grow wild in the hedgerows and in the bushes. So you'll see it at this time of year. It's absolutely everywhere, those beautiful white blooms. Um, so, yes, that's what we're inviting the community to help us pick. So we pick from our fields as well as the local hedgerows as well. And all of that comes back to our farm in Leicestershire where we make our beautiful drinks. 
And do you sort of employ people on a, on a casual basis, students, mem members of the community in the various counties that I mentioned in the introduction? Is it... Because that's what often happens in all kinds of farming, isn't it? There's a kind of itinerant labour force that's all... Roll up your sleeves, all hands to the mill, if you like. Well, we invite the community to help us pick those flowers from, from our farm um, and the surrounding area. So we're, we're very much about supporting the local community uh, to help us to pick the elderflower that we need to make those drinks to go all over the world. So, yeah, we need a lot of help. The government, not so much in recent weeks and months as the cost of living squeeze has really started to come to the fore in people's experiences... But the government in general in recent years has talked a lot about high fat and high sugar content of certain drinks. How do your drinks rank in that space, given that you're using mostly, I imagine, completely natural sugars? Yes, yeah, so all the sugar that goes into our drinks is 100% natural um, and we offer choice for the consumer. So we offer drinks that do have a little more sugar in. Our new botanical sodas range is lower in sugar, so um, there's a lot less sugar and a lower calorie option. And our cordials as well, you can dilute them to taste. So our elderflower cordial in particular goes a really, really long way and it still tastes absolutely amazing, even when you only use a tiny little bit. It's obviously a very successful business, Leanne, with the, with the premium brand and so on but how is the business getting on given I mean so often here on the money we talk to business leaders we've just been talking to egg producers restaurateurs cheese makers they're hurting they all have very good businesses but they're hurting because of increasing costs increasing fuel bills you know it's businesses are suffering in terms of their cost base they are suffering in terms of more taxation how is Belvoir getting on in this environment? Well, we're doing really well. We're growing. We're a growing business. We're, we're a small family-run business, and we're doing really, really well. And our range of drinks is uh, fantastic. They're all really lovely drinks, great, brightly coloured, so you'll see them on the shelf looking amazing. Um, and we take pride in the recipes that we're creating, and I'm privileged enough to be able to help create those recipes. And, and the ingredients that we use are, are fantastic, really premium. So some of our drinks have really few ingredients in, so our freshly squeezed lemonade, for example just has three ingredients in, freshly squeezed lemon juice, uh, sugar and spring water. And our raspberry lemonade, another great, great flavour, just has four ingredients in. It's 100% natural. It's got beautiful raspberry juice, lemon juice and some sugar and some spring water in it. And they all just look and taste amazing. Do you think you can grow then during this really difficult period? People are predicting recession. Inflation is going up and up. There's a lot of doom and gloom out there. You think you can grow? Well, we are growing and our drinks are indulgent treats for people when they've had a really long day at work or a tough day at the office or wherever and you come home and you want to reward yourself with something that tastes great with no compromise and you can sit and have a lovely glass of sparkling elderflower or one of the botanical sodas or even a ginger beer and have a nice reward for the day that you've had. And how far could this go? Where are you selling Belvoir or Beaver, as we must now learn to call it cordial? Tell me some of the countries briefly where you're selling. So we sell really well across the globe. So we sell really well in Australia and America as well as in Europe. So we're doing really well and growing in all of those areas, which is absolutely fantastic. And I think the quality and the premium taste of the drinks just speaks for itself. Well, Leanne, it's been great to talk to you. You are from... i, I still got to call it Belvoir, sorry. I'm really sorry. Premium Cordial Brand. You're my latest guest on Money Talks, and it's been a pleasure. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.